Alrighty guys, so our um, composer of the week this week is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. It's a pretty crazy name, right? <laughs> um, most people just say, like his last name right here, Mozart. Uh, he lived from 1756 to 1791. Oh, sorry guys. So his personal life, he was born in Salzburg, Austria on January 27th, 1756. He was actually a child prodigy. What this means is that from a very, 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 very young age, he was just amazing at music and he didn't even have to really put a lot of effort into it. It just came to him naturally. Um, so he composed his first piece of music at age five. That would be like kindergarten. That's crazy. He published his first piece of music at age seven. So by being published just means that it was put out into the public. Like first piece of music that he put out to the public to see was at age seven. Um, his father was also a musician. So this is probably why he was such a great one. Um, and this is actually the first composer that we've talked about that's had a, um, a family of his own. So he actually had a wife and he also had kids. And this is a picture over here of him. Cool looking hair. Alrighty. So last time we talked about the Baroque era and that Vivaldi and Handel were composers of the Baroque era. So Mozart is considered to be a composer of the classical era. So the classical era takes place between 1750 and 1830. So any composer that was writing music during the year, years of 1750 or 1830 is considered a classical composer. Also, another big thing that happened in the classical era was the piano was invented. So in the Baroque era, they were using the harpsichord. And if you remember last week, we talked a little bit about that. And it's just, it just has a very pingy, short sound. It was nice to have the piano because they could have longer, um, more legato, if you guys remember what that is, more legato sounds when using that instrument. Alrighty, so the instruments that uh, Mozart played were the piano, right here, and the violin. And he was very, very good at both of those. Um, actually, if you go into YouTube and you type in um, Mozart piano, they have just videos of like hours and hours and hours of Mozart Mozart's piano music. Alrighty, so Mozart's music, he composed 600 musical works. I think I touched on this a little bit last week, but what musical works means down here, musical works, multiple pieces of music combined to make a complete work. So when I say he composed 600 musical works, that doesn't mean he composed 600 two minute songs. It means he composed 600 pieces of music put together and those usually ranged from like an hour to an hour and a half to two hours. These are long works of music. So 600 two hour pieces of music. That is a lot. Um, he also wrote a lot of operas. He was very popular for writing operas and some that you might hear about at some point. The very popular ones that he did were The Marriage of Figaro and The Magic Flute. All right, guys, so I'm not gonna give you a signed listening this week. What I want you to do is I want you to find a song or a musical work or an opera or anything that Mozart has written, and I want you to listen to it and then I want you to send me the name of what you listen to. So you don't have to send me facts or anything. I just want you to find a song, musical work, an opera, anything that Mozart has written, and I want you to listen to it and send it to me. 
So you might ask, um, how do I find that? You could go to YouTube and you could type in Mozart and listen to a few and find one that you really like. You could just even get on the internet and type in Mozart and it'll come up with recordings of music that he has written. So have a good time, guys.